Document image size is found under the image dropdown. Image, image size, or on a Mac that would be Option Command I. On a PC that's a Control Alt I. So let's take a look at this panel here. What is most important is the total number of pixels. That determines the size of your image. This was shot with a Canon 7D and it's an 18 megapixel camera. The 18 megapixel camera gives 5,184 pixels in the width and 3,456 pixels in the height. Let's um, cancel out of this and switch to this other image of the bird here. This was shot on a different camera. This was a Canon 7D Mark III, which is slightly larger. So let's go to image size. The Canon 7D Mark III is a 20 me megapixel camera, and you'll see that we have a few more pixels in the image size, so it's 5472, so slightly bigger than the one uh, shot on the regular Canon 7D. Often you hear people refer to the size of an image based on resolution. Sometimes you'll hear them say something like, oh, I need you to get me a 300 DPI image size of that. Well, if somebody tells you that, they really don't know what they're talking about. First of all, when we're talking about pixels in our image size, we're talking about pixels per inch, and that's PPI. That's referred to as PPI. If somebody tells you they need an image in a DPI resolution, the DPI stands for dots, and that refers to the, resolu the resolution of ink on paper. So it's irrelevant here. So the next thing to understand is that resolution is only relevant when you print that image on to paper or some type of a substrate. The, the size of the file is determined by the total number of pixels. The resolution is how many pixels will be squeezed into a linear inch of the image when it gets printed. So this particular image is set to have 300 pixels per inch when it prints. If I change these settings here where it says pixels to inches, it'll show us that at 300 pixels per inch, this image can print 18 and a quarter inches wide by 12 and an eighth inch tall. Let's switch to this smaller one here and see what we get there. So I'm going to go to image, image size. So this one, the resolution is set to 240, which again is only relevant to print size, not image size. If I uncheck where this says resample, resample will actually change the number of pixels in your image if you change any of these numbers. If you uncheck this, Changing these numbers won't change the total number of pixels. So let's just change this to 300 so that it matches the bird image. Now, this is a slightly smaller file. So at a resolution of 300 PPI, it will print a document that's 17 and a quarter inches wide. Most often we talk about creating images in a resolution of 72 PPI when we're making something to put on a website or put online somewhere. So if you don't have this resample box checked, so it won't resize it, and you change the resolution to 72 PPI, it changes the print size, but it doesn't change the file size. This is still the same exact size file it was when this was set to 300. So again, the PPI is irrelevant. It's the total number of pixels. Now if I turn on the resample, now when I change these numbers, it's going to change the number of pixels. So if I take this and I change it to 72, it made a much smaller file size. Now we only have 1,244 pixels in the width. If I was to send this to a printer, right now the way it's set up, it would still print the same size document. It would print a 17 and a quarter inch wide document, but there would only be 72 pixels in every linear inch. 
again, if I take this back to 300 where it was originally, it's still the same document size in printing terms, but, in, but there's almost, well, there's a little more than three times the number of pixels in a linear square inch, which will give you a much higher resolution and much finer looking print. I created this with a nice easy round numbers for math challenge folks like myself. So this is 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. And if I uh, and set at a resolution of 100. So if I change the view here to inches, we can see that at a resolution of 100, we'll get a, a print size of 30 inches by 30 inches. But if I change this to 300 without resampling it, I'm going to keep the total number of pixels the same by turning this off. I'm going to change this to 300. It, now the print size of the document is 10 inches by 10 inches because we have three times as many pixels in every linear square inch. So even if I say OK here, it doesn't change anything in my document because all I did was change the relationship between the print size to the number of pixels in an inch. Let's go back to um, image size here. Now this time I'm going to resample it so you can understand what happens when you throw pixels away. So I'm going to turn resample on and take this down to one inch instead of 10 inches. So instead of having 300 or 3000 pixels in the document, we'll only have 300 pixels in the document. So we've, we're throwing a lot of information away and I'll say okay. And you'll see this file get much smaller. Now as I zoom in on here, you'll start seeing this kind of ragged edge. And this is what we called rastered or jaggy edges. Let's scale this down even further. Let's take this one, one to one inches, one inch by one inch at 100 pixels per inch. So now we only have 100 pixels total. Let's see what we get there. Now you can see this is getting really ragged looking. And this is what happens when images get scaled down and saved out is that you start seeing the pixels along these edges and you can't get that back. You cannot go back to the original place. If I go to image size again and take the pixels all the way up to 3000, which was the original size and say, okay, Photoshop's going to have to make up pixels to f um, fill those spaces where they were lost. I'll do a command or a control zero to fit in window. And now we're back to the original document size, but you can see that the um, edges are much softer than they were originally because upscaling an image, Photoshop has to generate new pixels and it can't recreate them exactly like they were to begin with. I hope this helps with your understanding of pixels image size and resolution. The most important thing to remember is that resolution is really irrelevant until you're ready to print your file.